<sighs> it's not that complicated. I can choose for myself to choose my own meanings. Well, there you go. I can choose for myself to choose my own meanings. That's your axiom. I'm saying that axiom is a non-starter. It is obnoxious to any notion of reality and truth. It breaks any point in having any conversation about anything. When you can go into a conversation about any subject and say, I can just make it up, there's no point. I'm proposing that it makes sense to most people's life experience that they can tell the difference between having a fucking brain tumor and having a cupcake. They can tell the difference. There's one that's a good thing and one thing that's a bad thing. They can understand that. What you're putting on the table is you will make up a lie, put it in my face and say somehow it's equal to that statement. I'm saying I don't see the equality, I don't see the equity. You're saying prevention has no value, zero value. If I prevent an earthquake, it would have no value. If I cured cancer, it would have no value. If I did anything to prevent harm in sentient beings, it has zero value. That was your axiom, asshole. How am I to relate to that as being at all sensible. It is contrary to every year and every day and every hour I have spent on this planet. The truth has been yelled at me by every fact I've gleaned. No fact that I have gleaned indicates that it is of no value to prevent unnecessary harm in sentient beings. And give to my life its own meanings and judge for myself its own worth. It has been explained over and over. There's no way to explain any other way. You can't talk about fuel efficiency in cars where you all of a sudden say, I'm not counting gasoline as the cost of the car, the fuel it consumes, and I'm not going to count miles it travels as the producing of the car. I'm instead going to think shiny paint matters and the only cost of the car is the cost of the rubber tires and then you're going to have a fuel economy. We're going to compare notes on fuel economy. There's no point. We can't compare notes. We can't have a conversation, a rational conversation. So yes, your make up the value notions are obnoxious and idiotic from my perspective. They have nothing to do with the function of human beings or the function of anything in this universe. It's nonsensical to say you can make up the standards. I sat there and said, for the sake of argument with all human beings on this planet, I'm having a conversation based on the notion that consciousness does matter, in fact, that the sentient experience is the only thing of value that we can discern from the entire universe, and that's the foundation of conversation. You won't accept that? Fine, I've said, fuck you, you're insane, I don't really want to deal with some asshole who can't figure out the difference from getting run over in the street and lollipops. Okay, you're too fucking stupid. Making up the truth is insane. There's a truth here. There's no other standard by which you measure a car's efficiency, okay? The fuel is expensive, it goes in as not a necessity of it sitting there. It doesn't need fuel for any other purpose but then to go miles per gallon. It's obvious there's a connection between the gasoline and the miles you're going to go. There's a huge connection between those two things. You will go no miles if there's no gasoline. The fuel you're paying and the, the rewards you're getting are clearly connected. I can't make anything out of your bullshit. Why would I spend $27,000 for pretty red paint? I wouldn't. And in such is entrenching a superficial point of view.